Good afternoon. Welcome to the news from ITV Granada. The health secretary has asked the police to investigate claims a doctor in Manchester apparently agreed to carry out an illegal abortion because of the sex of the unborn baby. An undercover reporter secretly filmed the consultant working at the Pall Mall Medical Clinic. Elaine Wilcox reports. Detectives investigating the murders of two elderly women in Southport are appealing to the public for information. Margaret Bidweek. Police in Manchester say there'll be increased patrols in the city tonight ahead of United's Europa League tie with Ajax. It comes I'm sure he was. Moving on to sport now, Carlos Tevez has trained with his Manchester City teammates and manager for the first time in five months. The striker helped. And now let's see what the weather has in store. Here's Joe. Thanks, Joe. That's it so far. Don't forget, though, you can always get more on Facebook. Renata Reports is at 6. Until then, have a great afternoon. Bye-bye. Good afternoon. Welcome to the Lunchtime News from ITV Granada. A murder investigation is underway after a man's headless body was found burning in Stockport. Police were called to Wellington Street around 5 o'clock this morning. Our correspondent Rob Smith is at the scene for us now. Rob, what's the latest there? Tributes are being paid to a 21-year-old soldier from Runcorn who's died at a base in Afghanistan. Signaler, the government has delayed a crucial decision on the future of Liverpool's cruise liner terminal. The city's offered to... Best of luck to them. Now, the weather with Joe. Thanks, Joe, and that's it so far this afternoon. Don't forget, Granada Reports is at 6. Until then, have a great afternoon. Bye-bye. The family of a man whose death is linked with contaminated saline at Stepping Hill Hospital in Stockport say he'll be sadly missed. The death of a teenager has been found hanged at Hindley Young Offenders Institution in Wigan. Jake Hard, an air stewardess, has touched the hearts of her passengers on a flight to Manchester. She told them about her little girl who has cerebral palsy and needs medical treatment in America. Mel Barham reports. Let's hope so. On to football. Rochdale have a new manager. They haven't won. Now the weather with Kerry. Thanks, Kerry, and that's it from us. We're back at 6.15 tomorrow morning in daybreak. Until then, have a very good night. Bye-bye. Four deaths are being investigated in connection with the deliberate contamination of saline at Stepping Hill Hospital in Stockport. It brings the total deaths being investigated to six. Today, the family of one victim called for those responsible to give themselves up. Claire Fallon reports. A heroin addict has been jailed for eight months for stealing charity collection boxes, including poppy appeal tins. There's some good news for defence workers in Lancashire. It's been confirmed BAE Systems is in negotiations to supply 12 typhoon fighters to the government of Oman. In football, the long-serving Accrington Stanley manager, John Coleman, is on the verge of taking over at League One Rochdale. He's agreed per... And a six-year-old girl from Wirral has made medical history. Maisie Downer has had not one liver transplant, but two, and she's shared it with a complete stranger, a 58-year-old businessman. Andy Bonner explains. Yeah, all the best to Maisie. Now let's check out what the weather's doing with Kerry. That's Kerry not looking so good. That's the weather uh, and the news so far this evening. More on Twitter, Facebook. We're back at 6.15 tomorrow morning in daybreak. Until then... Have a very good night. Bye-bye. Good afternoon. Welcome to the lunchtime news from ITV Granada. The Birkenhead shipbuilder Camel Laird has won a £5 million contract to build parts for offshore wind farms. The company hopes it could create 2,000 jobs at the yard over the next 10 years. Rachel Townsend has the details. A group of supermarket workers in Greater Manchester is celebrating a win of more than £6 million on the National Lottery. The syndicate of 16 from Hyde get around half a million pounds each. Ashley Derricott has been to meet them. The suspended Manchester City player Carlos Tevez has returned to Argentina. He was mobbed by... Now let's see what the weather has in store. Here's Joe. Thanks, Joe. Don't forget Granada Reports is at 6. Until then, have a very good afternoon. Bye-bye. In other news, detectives want to trace a girl seen pushing a pram near where a baby's body was found in Lancashire. The Home Secretary says immigration laws will be changed following the death of a 12-year-old girl from Lancashire. Amy Houston was killed in a hit-and-run near her home in Blackburn. The driver was a failed asylum seeker. 
He was sent to prison, but then allowed to stay in Britain. Claire Ashforth reports. Now let's see what the weather's doing with Joe. Thanks, Joe. That's it so far this evening. Don't forget, though, you can get more. We're back tomorrow morning in daybreak. Until then, have a very good night. Bye-bye.